Hi guys, welcome to another episode by myself, Rob Allen. Today we're going to show a little insert of a drop bar being used with Wahoo. There have been many requests for this, we haven't had that much during COVID coming in. And uh, we'll show a few other images we have shown in the past of where drop bobs have been used. In the interim, I'm going to show you a slight variation we've made. The top one is the standard for a seven and a half mil spear. And we've recently introduced a smaller one for smaller game fish on a seven mil spear. And I'll discuss the video. Yeah, we can see William approaching a wahoo in the distance. You can also just see the tag end of the drop barb line floating in front of the gun. One very curious wahoo. Can't believe it came in so close. But this comes from years of diving on wahoo. William has shot many of these fish, as you can see in his other videos. The spear goes right through. First thing it does, runs around the flasher, gets entangled. He now has to hang on to it to disentangle it, even though the spool is empty. And uh, fortunately, he does have a float attached as well. Hanging on to a wahoo, not a good idea. They tear very easily with a conventional spear. There you can see the reel is absolutely emptied and uh, the fight begins. Takes another big run. Eventually, the fish is subdued and is brought towards him. As you can see, the drop barb is now fully deployed. Very little tearing, considering he was hanging on to that. On the opposite side, you'll see where it's come out. It's actually under the spine, and technically, I would, uh, would say for sure that that's in the gut cavity. And uh, not a good place to put a, a normal spear. There he dispatches it now. Oh, as you can see by this wahoo, it's a really big fish, at least 30 kilos plus. We'll put the actual weight above. And that just gives you a great demonstration of how the drop barbs work. There are also two other images we have from customers. One is on a massive sailfish. This was equal to the world record. We have shown this image before, but this does show you the imprint. And uh, this fish towed the diver for, I think, 1.5 kilometers, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, basically no tearing at all. And a big shout out to William from Pesca Sub, one of our friends and customers. And uh, he shared us this video with Wahoos. If you follow him, you'll see he shoots many, many Wahoos and recently started using our drop barb and he's loving it. For those of you unfamiliar with drop barb spears, there's a link here that'll take you to our previous episodes showing them.